Alright everybody, we're back with Tomb Raider Anniversary Part 3. Um, I actually already finished this level. Um, the day I was recording it, the power went out and corrupted the whole recording. So, um, we are in the Colosseum right now and we do have the one artifact that we need. I'll see if it still lets me pick it up, but if it's not there, I'll still show its location. And I also went ahead and picked up the... 50s oh which those are gone so maybe the artifact will still be there it could just be a statistics visual thing that it says i picked it up even though we might not have it so we'll retrace our steps with those and pick those back up but yeah i made it through the entire level and then the power went out I, at least i think i did it looked like what could be the midas statue that i was approaching and then it just cut out so that did happen once before with um when we were playing the angel of darkness the sixth tomb raider game um, but I make sure I save in different slots per recording so that if I need to go back for any reason, we can, so we don't lose any progress and stuff like that, or I can redo it. So we're all good still. Like I said, I'll just show where I picked up the artifact and stuff like that when we get to it. But yeah, we're, uh, we're still in Greece. I think there's three levels left, but the Colosseum actually wasn't that long, so we might be able to finish Greece in this part. We'll have to see. But yeah, we just got done doing all the trials here. Uh, and put all the keys in, but I think we're ready to just get going here. What do I have equipped? Yeah, I already kind of know what to expect from this level. Which is good and bad. It means we might be able to get through it a little bit more efficiently. There's one medipack. Whoa, what the hell was that? The camera, like, faded out. There's one medipack later in, though. Um, kind of right next to where the artifact is that I just didn't get because it would make me have to go all the way around again. Which I had already had to go around, like, three times at that point. So, I'll point it out, but we might not pick it up. Before we go down though, we can grab something else. Actually, no we can't, because we're at capacity for our shotgun shells. So it lets you keep artifacts, but not guns. That's kind of interesting. Swim through here. Ah. I climbed that way before, that's the way we have to go, but there is a medi pack over here. So let's grab this first. Yeah, I've been really enjoying this game so far. It's really fun. I actually do kind of like the new style of everything with the animations and stuff like that. But I do get why people like the classic ones more. It's kind of hard for me to determine because I don't have like a nostalgia bias or anything like that. Because it was technically my first time playing through those as well. But I'm liking these games a lot so far. I don't think there's anything over there. Make a return. Damn, okay. I dodged too soon because I was so close to him. Alright, they're down. I suppose we can use our shotgun. 
There's ammo for it all over the place. Got Pierre taunting us. Yeah, from what I could tell, you don't run into him at all and, like, fight him on and off like in the classic games. So that's a little different. Yeah, we're gonna need a key to actually fully walk around up here. For now, we gotta pull this. charging there we go got some use out of our shotgun there Yeah, it's a little bit easier when you know what's coming. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I forgot about this. It's funny, because I pointed this out. There's a key on top of the cage over there, but, like, we, how can she not climb these? <laughs> like, this would be one of the easiest things for her to climb, in terms of the things she's able to actually climb. Got this. Come on. These shotgun shells. I wonder how many you actually pick up. I'd have to have it equipped, I suppose. Alright, we're at capacity again, though. There's our key. I like that you can just do these little dodges and flips. Damn. I did not expect the follow up there. Alright, let's get back up to our key door. Alright, back up to our ledge here. Here are artifacts coming up pretty soon. I don't know if it still has a mesh there or not, because some old games still keep the collectibles where they are, even though you technically have picked them up. We'll be able to see it from here, though. It is still there. They, oh, it just doesn't glow now, but yeah, it's right across from us. There's one thing I'm going to try differently this time, but yeah, here's the uh, optional medipack. But yeah, that's I'd have to basically do two trips back around in order to pick that up. But before we get the artifact, let's see if we can get the point fifties first. Because our point fifties are right here. There we go. Because normally we can kind of jump to that and then go the way we're supposed to go. But I am wondering if I can jump off this. And then still grapple. Yep, 
Yes, we can. Oh, it still glows. All right, let's see if we can pick this up then too. And then I only have to do one trip back around. Actually, we might be able to just climb up and go the normal way. Let's go a little bit lower here. I always kind of hate collectibles like these that require really precise jumps. But we made it. It's weird. There's no pickup animation for this either, so you just press the inner like the pickup button and it just disappears. But there we go. We got it. Both the point fifties and the spear. Yeah, if we want that optional medi pack, we'd have to circle all the way back around for it. But this is more convenient for us. We have a decent amount of small medi packs now, anyways. Oh, going the normal way also gives us that medi pack. Oh well, we're already through here. There's some point fifty ammo. Both of these ways are dead ends except for this one. Let's save the point fifties for now. I think we get attacked by bats here. Yeah, this is basically right when the power cut out. And it was the end of the level. It literally went out the exact moment I got to this level. Alright, there we go. Now we're in Midas's temple, I imagine? Yep. We have one artifact and two relics. So this is different. Two relics in this map. You know what we have to try right away? Yeah, there's a third one. God damn, we're gonna have to fight them again, but I just wanted to see this. Oh, they actually already have some of the gold bars in place. Okay, it kind of works the same as in the original, but let's do this. Alright, I just wanted to see if it was still possible. That's cool that they kept it. Statue's in a completely different looking spot though. But it looks like we're still gonna need the... I think there were lead bars in the other game. In the classic. Not sure if I'm actually going the right way though. We've got a switch here. So that opens that door. We're not going to be able to get across from this yet, I don't think. Actually, we can go over there. Let's see if we can just open all of these. Oh, are these basically like the, um... In the other one, you had to pull levers to open up a sequence of doors. I wonder if those technically what we're doing with this. Actually, we can't get up on this side unless we can climb one of these. No. Looks like we can do this one, though. There's a large many pack. Alright, so now we can go left and right. I didn't see anything else up there.
Alright, I was gonna say, I don't, oh wait, we can actually probably do something in here. No, actually not yet. Let's go left first. Actually, is there something on this side of the statue by any chance? No. It's a little too empty and quiet right now. I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh shit, the pillar spike room's still here. I think we actually have a relic and an artifact in this room. We're just gonna have to figure out how to get up to them. Alright, we can't pick that up. Oh, they kind of have this the same way too. Except it's obviously more noticeable. <laughs> Because in the classics, the blocks you have to move basically are just giant cubes that go into the wall. There's that. Oh, these actually fall? Oh, there's our artifact. Interesting that this... Oh, they all fall. Okay, so we're gonna have to... figure this out. Let's go back up to our lever. We're gonna have to quickly make it to that one. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we make it. close. There we go, there's our artifact. Make sure we don't fall on any spikes here. We still have a relic though too. I'm assuming if we have to be over there, then our relic is somewhere up there. So we're gonna have to find the path to that one. Alright, I'm actually back in the lower level, but I noticed something when trying to get the relic, which is up where I said it would be. It's up there. Um, this block starts moving before you can jump to it, but there's a little bit of it that's broken out. And I think we have to use the crate that was blocking the hole in the wall to actually stop the pillar from moving. So let's pull our lever again, then block it, and then we're going to have to try to make the run work. It's pretty straightforward. It's nothing too complicated. This is just the part that's a little tricky. So let's head back down here. Hopefully this works. Okay, god damn it, no. There we go, that should be good. Luckily this waits for me to actually start going before the pillars start dropping. So it should be pretty straightforward from here on out.
Yeah, it sounded like that pillar got stuck. There we go. That should do it. Can I climb up here? Yep, here's our first relic. It's an owl statue. Athenian owl figurine. There we go. But now, we gotta do the run for a third time. Just to make it back. Though, we know the path. The pillar that we climbed on right here is the one that we need to jump forward off of, so... Shouldn't be too complicated. Alright, here we go. There's one of our lead bars. I guess that's all that's here. There's no other chamber or anything. So we basically just cleared the whole room. I guess let's head back to the center chamber. God damn, I was not expecting gorillas to be here. Right? Yeah, I was just casually doing flips and car wheels down the hallway. <laughs> I was rudely interrupted. I, mean, I guess we can do this since we're here, right? Dude, that'd be, that'd be funny if the devs had, like, auto-climb on the hands. So if you weren't careful, you would auto-walk to it. <laughs> that would suck. There we go. We need two more of these. I guess we're going this way. What the? I should have to climb that step. No medipacks. Right. Seems a little straightforward. I wonder if this is a... Uh... No, that was an Egypt level where you have to collapse the ceiling, wasn't it? I don't think that was a Midas level. Or a Greece level, I should say. Also, does this actually take place exclusively in Greece? Because if we're at the Colosseum before this... Isn't the Colosseum in Rome? <laughs> Unless it's just like Tomb Raider lore, not reality. Okay, thanks, lion. Get rid of that speed demon first. Oh, we do have to collapse this pillar, though. Maybe it was a Reese level. I like the grapple mechanic that they introduced into this game, though. It's pretty cool. Alright, that one was easy. Um, there was that other chamber, though, uh, that went up. I'm kind of curious where that leads, because we still need to open a couple of doors in the main chamber. But I didn't see any other switches I could get to. Oh, okay. It, it, this is the same level then, alright. It kind of works the same way in the original game, where it's just this huge sand pile. So it must have been a grease level. I, I think I confused it with an Egypt level because of all the sand. But yeah, I'm really enjoying how they're keeping it similar, but also different. It's pretty cool. Almost didn't see those. Damn bats. But this is a little different. So 
surprised he didn't want me to recover. Because that was a very awkward angle. What am I doing with this? I'm not really sure where this wants me to go. Oh, wait, maybe right here. I will say, though, the rope mechanics work a little bit better than they do in um, Tomb Raider 4 and 5. Let me angle this a little bit better, though. It's kind of a pain in the ass dealing with these ropes in those games. up here now. But what do I do? Oh, does it want me to... Okay, this is going to be tricky. There we go. Am I jumping towards this now? No. Thank God I didn't jump. There we go. Just to get across one room. It's just stuff falling from the ceiling. I thought there was something going to attack me. Is the enemies? Aha, that's how we get to the other side. Alright, so that opens that door. I guess we only had the three doors then, right? Since we're already in the chamber, we can make our gold bar. There we go. Only one more now. I, I like the original... Oh, I thought that was lower. I like the original diagram, though, for doing the puzzle in the first game. Because it's just, like, written straight forward right above the wall. It always kind of looked funny. But if we only have one more room left, I'm assuming it's going to be the one with our relic. I'll know once I see it, because it's supposed to be, like, a giant fire room. And since these torches are lit, I'm assuming that's symbolizing it. Yeah, this is probably it. Well, I guess we get started here. Oh, this is not... Damn it. I thought that was like a ladder that we could climb up. Are we just climbing the... Pillar? Let me look at this. I 
I don't know which way it wants me to go. I wonder if there's something in the water that I'm supposed to do first. I don't think I can climb this. Definitely not. Can't do anything with that. Aha, here we go. And here's a gator. Oh shit, this thing's messing us up. Thank God it pauses my health drain. <laughs> or, well, my breath, I should say. Leave me alone. Ow, what the? They actually grabbed me right there and pulled me back in. Oh, come on. We already made it to safety. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of wasted hell. Alright, now we should be able to do this. There we go. Alright, we got that now. What is this for? Jesus. It's for her almost not making the jump. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, this actually... There's another switch. Alright, there's our relic. So I guess that's how we open that. That actually might work out perfectly, because that might be right where we have to go. See if we can get to it. Hopefully that's not timed, because that would really suck to have to do all that again. Ow. Can I climb up this? Oh shit, we can. I wasn't sure. Ow, shit, we're getting hurt. Oh, it is timed, isn't it? Jesus Christ, I can't move that fast. Wait, is that actually time? Let's grab our bar. God, that sucks that that's timed. 
Actually, wait, what about that? Let's go and hit that other switch. can't. Well, shit. That sucks that that is timed. We're gonna have to reset it. Alright, I got it this time. It took me a few attempts to get that, but yeah. There we go. Griffin Head Protome. Jesus, that one's tough. That one's timing is pretty strict. But we can get the hell out of here. Just gotta make it back to the center chamber again. Good dodge and he still got me. I wonder if the corner screwed it up. Got to try out the magnums a little bit though. Why is the music still so intense? Final gold bar. So how did Pierre get through this? Oh, that's actually the end of the level right there. Alright, we actually used more medipacks than I would have liked on the relic, the last relic there. That we took a lot I took a lot of damage from that. It took me a few attempts to get it. Every time I would make it to the pillar, it would just be low enough to where I couldn't interact with it, but I finally did get it. Um but yeah, there we go, that level's done. Music's still intense, but what do we got on this? We've got two artifacts in this level. This is the final level for Greece, though. Alright, I don't know how long this level's gonna be, so the part might be a little bit longer than some of our other parts. I wonder how they're gonna do the cistern in this game. So far, it's a lot of swimming. Is there anywhere to catch my breath? I'm not even gonna make it. Yeah, we're gonna be wasting medipacks here. 
Here we go. I wonder if there was other areas that where we could have caught our breath. I didn't see any when I was swimming through. Oh, the rats are still in here. Gonna be a rat yet. Yeah, Alright, well, here's the main chamber. Don't worry, Lara. The water is quite refreshing. <laughs> here, how the hell did you even get down here? We do have a relic in here, but I think we can't get it until later. Not really sure. We've got a lot of stuff we can do in here. Wait, so that... Oh, shit. So we can just toggle it all? And see some gators down there. not know if I'm actually hitting it though. Well this is gonna be tricky. Yeah there's gonna have to be a certain order in which everything is done. We can't grab it from there so we're gonna need to probably push one of the crates. These guys get closer I gotta take these things out. And they're actually that smart where they immediate yeah they immediately swim all the way back down to where I can't target them all right I think we need the water drained first here though because I think I'm gonna have to move some of these crates around so we might have to go this way first Although, can we? Oh, mini SMG ammo. I don't know why it's giving me that right now. Shit, can I even get back? You basically have to commit to this, unless she can grab the side. Okay, she can grab the side of this. Nice, very good. That would have sucked to have to go all the way around. feel like we're making some progress right now. Oh, I think that lever beneath me might be for our secret. But I think the chamber needs to be flooded. Anything over here? No. Assuming that's gonna come in handy at some point. Wait, let's go down once. Let's see what's beneath us. Can keep going this way.
the hell was that? Oh, this is to just go down? This guy actually invincible unless we kill him with the rate? Or is he dead right now? He's dead. Um, there's a medipack right there. Guess we can pick this up. It's really dark over here. There was actually three gators, and <laughs> they're still sitting in spots that I can't directly target. It's almost like they're not even active. This thing's still alive? Alright, there we go, it's dead. So does this let me drain it even further? I wonder what was up there. Oh, we could have knocked that other crate down. Shit. I wonder if I should have done that. Here, let's uh let's reflood this once. Let's get that other crate. Let's see what else is on this side. Probably take out that other alligator too. Or not, because it's gone. Alright, I just climbed back up. So let's see if we can do something with this crate. So good. Is there something down in this section? No, it's kind of just random. I don't really know exactly what I need these crates for, but it's probably better to have both of them down there right now. At least I hope. Um, I guess we just head back down then. Though it looks like we actually have a shortcut right here. Alright, I think this is still just for a no damage fall. Yeah, I wonder what we actually use these things for. I wonder if we have to push them all the way down. So let's... We could have just kept the water drained, I guess. Let's see what we got. Oh, there are. Okay, I see, I see. Let's uh, move both of our crates before I go down there. There's two pressure plates. Couldn't just make this low enough? Oh, damn it. Should have knocked the other crate down right away, too, because I gotta go all the way around.
That other gator is still down there. Oh, shit. Hopefully that's not a gap that it's stuck behind. Let's go move our other crate. Alright, they're both in place. Um, I don't know if I trust this grapple point. I'm just gonna go around. Feel like I probably would have died from that fall. Damn it, game. It's gonna mess up my dodge. Alright, we still got it. Oh, we get like a little raft released. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to walk on that in the first place. Oh, see, I don't know if this is gonna... No, okay, it's still flat here. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be stuck. There's our relic right underneath us. But I think we know how to get... I think I know how to get it, so... We're just gonna have to flood the whole area again. Alright, that should do that. I don't know if the water lifts these back up or not. Also, how do I get back up? I don't need a crate to get out of here, do I? Well, shit. No, nope, there we go, that works. I wonder what all that other platforming stuff is for, then. Maybe just alternate ways up, like, down to it? Alright, that gets our raft. I think I might actually be pulling it through where that other fenced area was then. At least if I'm to guess. Because that seems to be what it was hinting at. Can I pull it? I don't think I can pull it from here though. Okay. Let's get this over here. I don't know if it matters what side it's on. I think we just have to get it in the center, maybe. I don't think it's going to get stuck. We're just going to have to hope for the best, I guess. Alright, I'm back where we pushed our second crate. I'm actually just trying to figure out how to get back to our lever. Because I, I wasn't able to make the jump to those swinging poles over there. So I just came over here to see if it wants me to jump across this. There we go, that works. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. It looks like there might have been a way back up somewhere over here. Yeah, okay, I see it now. That would have been an easier way up than the way I took. But either way worked. Alright, let's see if our... Oh, shit. Um... God damn it. Let's see if this worked, I guess. <laughs> our raft kind of got screwed up. I'm just hoping I can pull it out of there. Also, is there any way I can actually swim up? Oh, wait. I think I know. I think the raft is what we needed to actually climb up out of the water. Holy shit, that actually worked. See if we can pull it though. Oh, 
Okay. Amazingly, we were able to save it. Um, but before we do that, now that we've got all of this in place and we're all set to go here, let's get our relic now. I don't know if this is timed. Hopefully it's not. The cistern is a lot more straightforward on this game than it is in the original. Just mildly, slightly confusing. I still want to dive, Lara. Let's see if we can make it back up. But there we go, that's one relic. It didn't make a noise. I'm going to verify that it stayed collected. Alright, it did. I'm surprised we were able to salvage the raft, though. If it wouldn't have let me climb up on it like it did, we would have had to drain the water and then reset it. But we got it. Anything to climb up here? No. Guess we're swimming. Whoa, we've got the current still. Whoa, shit, that just spit me right out. Swimming is not over yet, though. I wonder if they actually have you fight the um, centaurs in this level, like in the original. Is this a surface? Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, our second relic is actually somewhere in this area. We gotta swim to it. The centaurs are still there. I think we do have to actually go on a scavenger hunt for the lever, though. But I think our relic is gonna be in this cave that you can kinda see beneath me. Something was chasing me. Are we gonna be able to make it back up? <coughs> yes, just in time. Alright, there we go. That's all relics in Greece. Well, all artifacts and relics. There was only two art artifacts on this one. I keep getting them mixed up. Can't do anything with this. Alright, let's just approach the doors see what happens. I don't know if they make you go look for a lever like they do in the original game. We're just gonna have to find out. Alright, so nothing happens. So we are gonna need a relic. It or, a lever. <laughs> God damn it. Looks like there was a cave directly underneath this platform, though. Okay, it was just an archway. How about this? Let's just see if we can see anything. Alright, we might have to go that way. Let's catch our breath. The water looks so weird underneath it. And I'm sure as we approach the door, everything will be fine. No centaurs are probably going to attack us.
Oh, they actually don't. Interesting. So is it just a Pierre quick time event? God King Tihokan, one of the Triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the Skeel, leader of the Chosen after the great betrayal caused Atlantis to be lost beneath the waves. Mademoiselle, yours are going to cost you both pieces of the skill. That's not a price I'm prepared to pay. Don't be absurd. No job is worth dying for. Yes, it is. Here did not make it. I did not expect him to go out like that. What are they doing? Oh shit. Does that kill me? Oh no, we gotta shake out. Are they actually getting hurt? I'm not actually sure how we do anything against that either. Oh, I'm reloading. God damn it. I see. Why can't I do anything? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working before, because I kept trying to do that. Alright, I think we're just supposed to jump in the water on that. Damn, that's how much damage that does? Shit. Come on! Alright, that one's dead.
There we go. That was an interesting boss fight. Reese is done. Um, like I said, the part might run a little bit longer than usual, but uh, before we go into an outro, let's just continue here. But that, I will say, that was a pretty cool boss fight when it worked. I don't know why it wasn't letting me pull the shields out the first time, because I was hitting the interact button. Like, I was on controller, and it's X to grapple, Y to interact. I was hitting X, then Y, but it would immediately detach. But it ended up working, so it's all good. Oh, okay. That was the cutscene for Egypt there. Oh, it refills your ammo on a new level. That's interesting. I actually did not think it would do that, but all right. We're going to end part three here. We got a lot done. We finished Greece completely. Greece, I did like the way they did it. It was actually really cool. I like that the cistern was more streamlined because the cistern was actually kind of a decently sized level in the original game but it kind of dragged on a little too much you can probably shortcut it i was going for all pickups and secrets in my playthrough so we were on that level for a bit um i like the midas touch more in the original i would say the layout at least but i did like it in this one Colosseum was also very shortened. It, you don't do that much in the Colosseum. I would say overall that the original did Grease a little bit better in terms of level design, but I do like the way they changed it in this game to make it kind of something new, but also s feel very similar. Um, that, I'm liking this game a lot, though, because of that. I'm glad I played the original games when the remastered came out because it was my first time playing through those, but just to have that kind of knowledge ahead of time and then seeing this game and how it was redone is is really cool. I like the way they did it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're now in Egypt. I think there's only three Egypt levels, and I think we can probably get our submachine guns here. At least that's where you get them in the original game. And then there's the Atlantis. Though when I was looking at the level names for this game, it seems like Atlantis is just called the Lost Island in here. At least that's what it's dubbed. So that's what we have to look forward to. I'm actually extremely excited to see how they do the Egypt levels because the Egypt section was probably my favorite in the original because, I mean, everything. every time they do something with Egypt in these kind of treasure hunting and platforming games, it always looks so cool. Uh, but yeah, as always, uh, we're still streaming Fallout. We're on Fallout 4. Those have been going pretty decent. We're getting a lot... Well, Fallout 4 is a bigger game. There's a lot more things that you sink time into in it at the very least. I'd say New Vegas has more content. But Fallout 4 just has more time to do things. Um, so we are still slowly getting through there. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in part 4.